We have the space, we have two lakes, the mountains. What a perfect spot. So I thought, <coughs> if we're going to create nature, we have to be internationally known. And the scenery just makes it. One of the biggest events in the South Island resort town of Wanaka is the Warbirds Over Wanaka Air Show. Held every second Easter, this event attracts up to 100,000 visitors. Warbirds Over Wanaka was begun in 1988 by the legendary aviator and entrepreneur Sir Tim Wallace. The air show enables the public to see his collection of Second World War fighter aircraft in action, as well as other unusual planes. Wallace pioneered live deer capture from helicopters, which led to a significant industry in New Zealand, and he was later instrumental in the development of the deer farming industry. Born on the West Coast in 1938, Tim Wallace joined his family timber business, operating at Wanaka and Haast in the late 1950s. A keen deer hunter, he found that the difficulty of getting dead deer out of the bush before its meat went off limited the commercial possibilities of the activity. However, in 1959, the first deer carcasses were flown out of South Westland by Malcolm Forsyth, who, with others, pioneered the use of aircraft for this purpose. But cramming small aircraft full of carcasses at makeshift landing strips on river flats carried considerable risks, especially for the pilots of these overburdened planes. So in 1963, Tim Wallace and two fellow deer hunters began using a helicopter to recover deer. The biggest deer herds remained above the bushline where aircraft couldn't land, but helicopters could. Wallace hired a Bell 47 helicopter flown in the Korean War and used it to collect carcasses from high above the Matukituki Valley near Wanaka. This convinced Wallace that recovery by helicopter worked, so he bought a Bell 47 and learned to fly it. This innovation, which other commercial hunters quickly adopted, occurred when deer exporting was rapidly growing thanks to a booming market in Hong Kong for velvet taken from antlers and venison. Helicopter deer recovery also meant hunters could be flown in and out each day rather than spending long periods in the bush. But soon even deer hunters became redundant, as Wallace, who would become known as Lord of the Choppers and others, quickly pioneered shooting deer directly from helicopters, a much quicker and more effective method. In the early 1970s, Wallace won the contract to reduce the red deer herds that were invading Fiordlin National Park. Red deer are one of the more than 50 mammal species introduced into New Zealand during the 19th and early 20th centuries. Being released into an ecosystem with plentiful food and no predators saw the deer population grow rapidly. By the 1960s, wild deer populations were out of control and causing considerable environmental damage by eating undergrowth and harming young trees in native forests. To fulfil his Fiordland contract, Tim Wallace purchased two ships and anchored them in fjords where they served as mobile helicopter landing platforms, freezers and deer processing plants. Hunting wild deer from helicopters became so successful that it meant there was less venison available for export. So Wallace and others began to capture live deer from the wild with the aid of special net guns in order to farm them. By 1981, there were 180,000 deer being farmed in New Zealand. And by 1997, that figure had increased to nearly 2 million there were just 250,000 deer left in the wild. In 1994, Sir Tim Wallace received a knighthood for his services to the deer export and farming industries. In recent years, the remarkable growth of deer farming has slowed, but it still earns the country hundreds of millions of dollars of export income every year.